Hello, friends. Pets often surprise their owners. They go to them for help, confident in the kindness of the most important person in their life. Nick Wake lived with his shepherd dog, Terry, in a house near the woods. They would often go for walks in nature together. Sometimes the owner let his dog run freely. After one such walk, something very interesting happened. Nick saw Terry running towards him from the forest. When the shepherd came closer, the owner saw that it was holding something very in its mouth. The dog put the little lump on the steps and Nick was able to determine that it was a little blind puppy. It had clearly been born very recently since its whole body fit in the palm of his hand and was a slightly unusual shape. The pup helplessly muzzled his nose into the man's hands, feeling its warmth and therefore life. Wake decided that Terry had found a future playmate in the forest, but with it still being so young, it was impossible to determine what breed it belonged to. The shepherd expectantly looked at its owner, and Nick realized that the puppy would definitely have to be nursed. He couldn't let his pet down. Okay, we'll figure it out later, thought Nick, and carried the little orphan into the house. He had to figure out how to feed the pup. He named him Russell. At first, Nick had to feed him from a medicine dropper. The situation was somewhat eased by the fact that Terry decided to help his owner. He would lick the baby animal clean after eating and warm him with his body. Everything was going well, but two months after the dog had brought the puppy out from the forest, it became clear that the animal wasn't a member of the canine family at all. Nick began to suspect something soon after the orphan started showing a predisposition to climb as high as possible. Finally, Wake became convinced that something was wrong after the animal freely climbed up the door jam onto the cupboard. After that, the puppy had gotten a taste for conquering heights in the house. All the doors, cupboards, upper shelves, and mezzanines belonged to him now. This caused quite a ruckus, but Nick was patient and tried to accustom Russell to certain commands so that the young animal wouldn't wreck the whole house. Curiosity prevailed, and Wake decided to find out what kind of animal he had raised and how to handle him correctly. He put the foundling into a small carrying case and drove to a veterinarian. When the doctor saw the little animal and heard the story of how it had ended up in Nick's house, he laughed. The veterinarian told Wake that his dog had brought him a baby sable, a wild, fur-bearing animal. Why Terry had done this was a mystery. You can tame a sable, but it is an active animal, nimble, so it would require quite a lot of work. The veterinarian advised Nick to sell the sable. Nick thought about it as he left the doctor's office, but when he had got home, those thoughts were no more. He let Russell out of the carrier and Terry began barking happily, and they set off into some kind of game only they knew. The owner looked at the two happy pets and realized that he could never separate them. The decision was made. Months passed, the sable had become covered in luxurious black fur and became more and more attached to his human and dog. Usually, they all walked together. The animal loved to walk in the trees, but Terry didn't like it too much. So when Russell would get too carried away, the dog would call him back down to be with him. Nick never cages or tethers his sable, giving him complete freedom. How Russell will behave in the future is unknown. But so far, he hasn't even thought of running away from the family that raised him. With a kind attitude towards animals, people can live in harmony with the whole world around them. It doesn't take a lot of effort, just a kind heart and a little patience. That's all for today. Share this video with friends and family. Like and write in the comments. See you later.